to the stream this afternoon. This is Bill Compton underscore 1835, live on Twitch with a Men 19 video. I'm doing the online franchise I have set up with a few buddies, uh, Fantasy Legends all across the board. We are in week four. Uh, have just come off of a loss. Uh, my first loss, I thought I was maybe going to go a little bit longer, but that's fine. Um, we got the Bills this week. Already did practice, scouting, and contract negotiations, so we are ready to go right into the game. And I still have the number one defense in the league. I am happy about that. I am losing the teams. I think I have the highest overall, so I, I need to be winning games. That loss has to be one of my only ones this year, pretty much. 96 overall OBJ. All right. And you got Mike Daniels. That's salty. <clears throat> hey, everybody. It's the coach, and this is Madden 19 on EA Sports. Coming up, we've got a good one between the Buffalo Bills and the Green Bay Packers. With that, let's get up to Green Bay, Wisconsin. Standing by for the call from Venerable Lambeau Field. Here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. This place first opened way back in 1957. We are inside legendary Lambeau Field here in Green Bay. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it. This crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Buffalo Bills and the Green Bay Packers. Along with Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, we look All right, at this dangerous. team as we enter play Thirty here. yards to catch. The losers Jesus. their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for the visiting Bills, they too were losers last week, so they're also hoping to get back in the win column. Something's got to give in this one, right? Both teams want to start a new streak, and they both want it to be a victory. This should be a fun one. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. So here come the Bills on offense for the first time. And leading them, Charles, their quarterback, their field general. Michael Vick, are you serious? That's what I'm dealing with. For this game, was talking not just uh. with the coaching staff, but with him as well. And I found it mm. interesting that the coaching staff sees him one way, and he sees himself an entirely different way. Yeah, one thing he said he's always working on, he's, we know he's not bad at this, but his footwork always wants to improve that, and that's something he's going to focus on here. And what was so funny, what the offensive coordinator say right off the top, he's got great footwork. Love his footwork. So this guy is never satisfied. And throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. Clay Matthews pressured him. The backfield a week ago, and they're going to try and involve him in that way in this game as well. But you can tell scouting is taking over. They're making it a little bit more difficult. Yeah, defensively, they told us, hey, we've got to take him out of the passing game, limit it to just short runs, because he can really impact this offense. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Yeah, you're trash, Michael Vick. More of them trying to get him the football out of the backfield. You're nothing without your legs. Open space. And, they and I'm watching you. Mismatches they can exploit. On third down, Vic. He'll let it go deep for Beckham. So oh, he took a shot there I almost picked it. Down, couldn't get it. Now it's with Tremont Williams. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. Mm. You'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. And that hits at the six and carries into the end zone for a touchback. Rodgers will bring the pack up with a first and ten at the 20. They'll run it now out of the gun. They'll get about three as he's taken down at the 23. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping 
those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't Damn. On that play. And not much there. Maybe a yard up to the 24. This is how they'll line up on the defensive side for Buffalo. They enter this one down in the 26th position in the NFL. As right now, against the pass, top 10 in the league. But against the run, that's where the struggles have come in. Got to find a way to make sure they stop runners before they get started. It's caught. Nelson. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A gain of 19 and picking up the first. Nice catch right there. Brings to mind the sentence. When in doubt, find your veterans. We used to laugh back in the day when they would call guys like him crafty veterans. You, know, you get up in your 30s, you're still playing receiver, but... You're around that long at that position, you're doing something right. Just remember this, when he was young, he thought the crafty veteran was simply a guy who couldn't run anymore. Now he understands a little bit better. These are his numbers from last week's contest. Nine carries, 65 yards, and a touchdown as well. And they'll go on the ground. And that's just not enough carries for a running back to get loose and really feel like he's into the game because... They have to have enough volume to establish a rhythm, not just for themselves, but also to get in sync with their offensive line so they can read the blocks properly and they can execute them. I expect them to get a minimum of 15 carries in this game, and the optimum number would be 20-plus. And he'll be touched out here, but not before he does pick up the first. He'll wind up getting two there as he does it himself and picks up the first. It's been a good drive so far. They just wanted to keep it going. So they call low-risk, low-reward play. No one's worried about picking up big yardage here. Quarterback sneak, keep the chains moving, and pick up another first down. Flash the stick skills on that run, but then stop shy of the 35. Just what you want on a first down run. Call it eight yards, and it's second and two. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. And he works it to the 30-yard line here, right at the 30. Call it a gain is seven, and it gets him a new set of downs. A couple of nice carries back-to-back -back here, establishing the ground game a bit. Yeah, these aren't bare-bones runs now. I mean, they're getting substantial yardage, the kind of yard you're looking for, right? Let's play music play show. Stand of the change, right? Five, more, five or more yards each time. That's what you're looking for in setting a tone and getting your offensive line going. Good sign on the opening right. drive. <clears throat> so far, Walter not Payton not doing too bad down. here. Got the running game going this week. Last week was struggling yeah, real bad. Quickly, didn't it? Closed fast. Eventually wrangled down before reaching Probably the 20, end but up a strong actually. run. Mm. It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. I and knew it. will be taken down near the 20 at the 21. I'm going to go he for it, He needed two. He got one, and that's going to leave him with fourth down at a yard. We are going for it. I know the scouting report on him is that he doesn't possess the eye discipline to be an elite linebacker. And what that means is his ability to read, react, and make a play. But on that one... He looked like one of those guys. And he'll burrow his way forward to pick up the first. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. For those vertically challenged quarterbacks, here's a time where they will tell you it's an advantage to be a little bit on the smaller side. Able to duck in behind their offensive line and stick the ball across the imaginary yellow line for a first down. Now they'll run it on the toss. Looking to find a lane, but he can't Tried run it. Tried to do a little bit something different there, but it didn't work. No gain on the play there. Second down. All right, quick observation, Brandon, because early on in this game, I'm seeing linebackers playing with their noses close to the line Antonio of scrimmage. Gates and and my guess soon. is the wheels are turning on that other sideline. As a play caller, you're filing that away right now, aren't you? Yeah, you're trying to find that opportunity later on. Or not. Yeah, I'll pick the same one. Now they'll throw with Rodgers. One-handed grab, Jordy Nelson. Are you serious? His third touchdown now on the year. And the Packers are able to cash in for six. 
A sensational one-handed grab in the end zone for the score. Looked like you at the Davis Turkey Bowl every year in the backyard in Orlando, Florida. Uh, Who did so he fall on top of? Definitely huh? in my mind. But how about this? They always tell guys going after the ball, the receivers especially, you got to have a single-minded obsession to go get it. How about going up with a single hand and making that happen? I don't know if it gets much better than what we just saw there. This is going to be an instant replay live on stream here. One-handed grab, Jordy Nelson. On Dunbar. You almost got, you did get squashed, to be honest. Steven Hauschka for the point after. <clears throat> Hauschka adds the extra point, and it's now a 7-0 game. Here's Glad to see we got a viewer. Away. Obviously tuned in to see some Aaron Rodgers magic. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Fifth tackle. Who? Eric Weddle. Is that Weddle? No, that's Church. By 20! By 90! A first down throw coming for Vic. He couldn't quite and complete. Ball pops out, incomplete. But you're going to get benched, Vic. You suck. The beauty of being able to play a zone defense when you can sit back and see the ball coming out of the quarterback's hands, guess what? Creates a lot of confusion. Kind of a muddle in the I middle of the it. field where you can go make a play on the football. On second down, Kamara. Oh, and now he bowls him over. And now running right through it. And it'll work his way across the 30 to the 32. Second down, a little more productive than first. Seven yards on the gain. It gets him to third and three now. Alvin Kamara really settling into the league in his second season. And of course, he came out of Tennessee, but not a lot of people remember he started it. Oh, Clay. You, you should have had that, Clay. That was a pick. Oh. At least he swatted it. Alvin Kamara ended up leaving Alabama, going to a junior college for a while. I believe he went to Hutchinson, Hutchinson Junior College. He did swat it on third down. It's still a good play. And finding his way to the NFL, where he is now a star. Now Sanders. A good return there, 17 yards. And it'll be Packer football here, first down and 10. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And certainly they'll be hoping to hit pay dirt like they did on the last drive. Got the football back, so a chance to go up two scores. And they haven't been tentative at all in this ball game because sometimes you start a game with your script to try and get information out of the opposing defense. How will they play you in certain situations? Sometimes you script to attack, and that's what I'm seeing so far. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. Now, he may want to go back to that one. First play of the drive, good for 15 and a first down. And it all came together there. In breaking route, drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks. Oh, no. He can't bring him down. The way he <sighs> does work. And he'll take it across. There's open midfield, field, but everybody lost the their box. Territory. Two yards on the pickup there. It'll be second and eight. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping. Those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. 12 yards there as they move the chains. Tremendous blocking by the interior of the offensive line. They didn't just gash him there. They blasted a gaping hole for him to gallop through. I think if he comes back to the huddle, he better be giving them a whole lot of credit and thanking them. Oh. Oh. to rumble. Now a throw to the play end by the safety on first after. down, but it winds up incomplete. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. Rodgers will try again on second down. Oh, set down third. He goes down. Sheldon Richardson breaking through to get him for a loss of seven. Well, getting to the quarterback, that's an area Buffalo really wants to improve this season. Hard to believe they went to the playoffs last year. Just 27 sacks on the season. Jesus. Sacked immediately. If they want to get back to the playoffs, they'll have to up that number deep into the 30s. On fourth down, Matt Hawk to punt it away. 
Back deep is Marcus Sherrills. Oh, Only that's... two punts for him last week in the loss as he gets Ugh. this one away. Ugh. The Bills that's offense now, they get set to head back onto the field. They've had it twice, they've punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all, and let's face it, every facility we visit, everyone talks about converting on third down, how big that no is. No way. Situation, they've Good had catch. To punt it away twice, so Finally, they got a completion, they got momentum the now. What do we need to do to pick up a first down and change our momentum? On first and ten, here's Vic. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. Oh my God! So he Ooh. took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. That was close. I'm not gonna lie. Reggie White He's gotta get that sack. Able to force the incompletion, but still waiting for that game-changing play. You feel like it's coming. The first sack, the first turnover. In a sense, they're playing old school defense right now. The new school defense is what you said. Got it. Oh, they didn't. And they're gonna be staring at a third and long here. They didn't count it as a sack for some reason. Before the two minute warning, let's see if they do it anyway. Oh, that was a false start. One of the Bills got going a little early. False start, offense. So that'll back them up five. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now, third and long. Game on green. Working out of the gun, Michael Vick. Um, oh, nice. What a play. What a play. 23. Eric Weddle, I believe. I didn't make a hide. What a play. We'll remind you once again, coming up at halftime, we're going to check in with Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. He's got stats and scores from around the NFL as we wrap up the first month of the season. No longer is he a rookie, the coach, a true veteran now, a crafty veteran. Yeah, Sanders now to return. 12 yards on the return that time, and that will come the offense as they take over. Getting set to go again as we look at the back, heading onto the field again. And he's well on his way to a 100-yard game. He's already more than halfway there. We're only in the second quarter. And what I've always loved about running backs is they'll tell you, I had no idea how many yards I had. Right. Those guys have an innate <laughs> sense of where they are. Oh, game. he's coming the wrong way. I did. Because you know they're always working towards 100. What they run the ball well towards 100 here. Give him 30 yards there. Oops. Well, part, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice You're attacking fine, play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Rodgers now on first down. Oh, he's able to add muscle in here as he pulls it in. That one goes for 24 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Now Rodgers, and he can't get rid of it, he's taken down. Michael Strahan. Yeah. And it's never good to take a sack. You really don't want to take one down here in this part of the field, down near the red zone. Not at all, because you're already pretty much assured of a field goal. If you take a big sack, it could push you out of range, and that's why defenses get a little more aggressive in this situation. They're almost conceding the three points. They want to push. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Ah, uh, Nelson, you should have caught that. You let it go through your hands. Wow. And Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside run, the quarterback's I, head and figuring out. Okay. Where is he going okay. with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively. Not all the time, but sometimes. Ooh. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. And not much room there, so he'll get it up only to about the 21. 
Stop made there by Gerald. I don't know. That doesn't make sense. I Second said. and nine now from the 21. He was in front, and I did a bullet pass, and I ran to his damn hands. So, all right, folks, eager to get back to this week this four matchup. Nice. We won't put up a fight. So it's oh, the Packers excellent. set to receive the kick. They've got the lead Sorry, as well. ladies and gentlemen. We are underway in the third was quarter. An accident. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Green Bay offense now about ready to take possession here. They have the lead. Now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers or counters, as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt. <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. 58 to 58 to now Rodgers throwing on second down. Benjamin with it over the middle. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First target, first catch at a first down. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue. Now look out, Rodgers. Lost the football. Everybody's just standing around. A plays like that because this is, this is a quarterback. The ball gets away from him. Everyone else is trying to execute what they're supposed to do on offense. They're usually looking in the other direction, downfield, or have moved away from him. In this case, though, the teammate is able to come up with the ball. Rodgers now to throw. And a hit jarred it loose. It's I don't understand how you don't catch that. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find yeah, a way to start man. coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. To throw, it's Rodgers. And that one incomplete. Had some position, but couldn't hold on, and it brings up fourth down. Sometimes we wonder about play calls, but this one made perfect sense to me. He's got the only touchdown that they've scored in this game. Tried to get it to him again on another deep ball. And the punt team on now as this one sent away. Oh, yes. Yes. Beautiful. So here's the Bills offense now. They get ready for their here. first possession of the second half. They were able to get the stop defensively. Now a chance really to set the tone here in quarter three. They can really take charge, can't they? And this is probably how it was drawn up in the half. I think we can go inside the locker room, all right? <laughs> and I think we would see up on the grease boards, stop them defensively, get the ball back for the offense, and let's go downfield and score. Seems simple, right? The last part, we have to find out if that's going to happen. But the first part worked to perfection. Did exactly what they wanted, and now their offense has to pay it off. See if they can get the latter 50%. And he will take this up to about the 8-yard line. Call it a gain of a couple, and that's going to leave him with a third and about five. Tough first half for him, unable to put up the numbers he's used to producing. But with a guy like him, you and I both know it just takes a couple of explosive touches for him to make an impact on this game and on the stat sheet as well. Here's Vic. And he's got it. Got his man on the end route. Complete. His first catch, and it's a pretty big one. They get the conversion on third down. And just a small glimpse there as to why they like this. Right, we're having so a tough game so far. This is a game against the Bills. 7-0 in the third. Yeah, you know, they like his work ethic. You know, this guy's running every route well in the route tree and getting better at it all the time. Really honing his game. They expect a pretty good jump out of him as things continue to move on. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. 
If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. You know, despite the score line, I think they've got to like where they are here. They're on the road and just one big play away from getting right back in this game. I'm going to follow right along with you because the spot they're in now is a credit to their defense. They've kept them in it by making the plays that they've made, and that just means you're one big score away from being right back there. Now the question is, can this offense step up and make that play? Because that's been an issue for them in this game. A pair of first downs gives them a first and 10 up at the 44. Vick will look to throw on first down. Finds Jake Butt over the middle. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. The completion good for three, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective, able to stop him. Oh, oh. Oh, oh no. He just beat me so hard. Oh, that was awful. That was awful. Sixth touchdown of the season. And the Bills are an extra point away from tying the football game. Oh, my God. Long run, maybe the defense caught napping. Oh, my God. The concentration level may not have been there. I agree with you on that one because those types of plays, when they result like that, they're almost like big bolts of lightning, aren't they? Whoosh, and off he goes. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. And Green Bay getting ready to go as they take the field. And a tight game after punting last time. See if they can get something going on this drive. As they head to the field now, with the game this close, you've got to feel there's a sense of urgency for them going on offense right now. But they have to do it without letting panic creep in and affect their play. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. So they took a shot on first down, but couldn't connect. Well, I guess we just discovered that someone is certainly not going to sit back and just take it in this game, huh? No, they were trying to get that touchdown back in one shot. One shot, trying to help out his defense and let the other team know they were coming after him. On play action, Rogers. And it's incomplete. He was looking for Antonio. This defense Gates is good, time. man. Third down here. Well, this at least is the right idea. I think they've got to get the tight end more involved. He had just one target in the first half. Incomplete. Now incomplete here with the first target in the second half. Yeah, should not stop them at all from going back to him, though. Find him. Find him. Now it's Rodgers. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Having a bad game. Bad game. Bad game. Line. Bad game. And he may want to track down that football because that's interception number one on his career. You're saying that's going into the trophy case? I'd put it there. Yeah, no doubt about it. When you ask the equipment guys to make sure that I actually might lose game. this one because of you that pick. I am making stupid that's decisions. Finding ways I need to start playing football to team. win this game. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. They run it again with Kamara. Thank and you. Stopped up at the 31 after a gain of maybe a yard. Well, so many times we look at a short run and we praise the offense for trying to set the tempo and establish things, but the defensive guys, hey, they just won the battle there. It wasn't a big run given up. They don't always have to absorb the body blows. Sometimes they dish them out themselves. On third down, Vic out of the gun. And in Good hit. Thank you. I think that was DM. And brings up fourth down. Anytime a defense can sit back in a zone like that, it tends to create a lot of congestion in the middle of the field. Makes it very hard to slot one in. Looked like an I-4 rush hour in your you can't get that Orlando, jump. Florida, an absolute mess. And Prater's kick is on the money. It's good. And the Bills have taken the lead here in the fourth. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long ways from over. It definitely puts a lot of pressure on the defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're... And 
Following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive, or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back. What the fuck, man? Are you serious right now? One thing they definitely like about this youngster is his motor. He is full throttle. Yeah, he yeah, never man. snap. Love to get after that the quarterback. And that has to feel good to him right there. His first career sack. Rogers gonna throw. And incomplete. Catch the ball, dude. So many drop passes in this game when it's right in your hands. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive, knowing each other's moves all game long. And they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. Trying to erase that deficit all at once. One big shot. He took it. Unfortunately for him, incomplete. That's a huge pump. I didn't think he'd get it all the way down there. All right, we got to get a turnover. I don't know what's going on. Why my receivers aren't catching balls. Why my blockers aren't blocking. They're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three except in certain situations. I don't know why. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking. This is a rough I game. That's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> Not one that I've ever met. Yeah, no. Play back or something. I don't think Big know. operating on first down. Over the middle of the back A gain of six there on first. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. From the gun, Vic. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they bring him to the ground just shy of midfield. Ten yards, good enough for a Buffalo first down. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. They go play action here on first down. Catch here, left side, Thomas. 12 more yards there and another first down. All of a sudden, this game switched. Play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough. EA has written all of this for the completion. First down, Vic. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. So a line of scrimmage still the 39 on second and 10. On second down, Vic again. Looking again for Thomas. This you gotta be kidding. I gave up my area and that happens. That's ridiculous, man. The Bills passing game, getting them down the field. They've got another first down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. And his throw is Dion is, is saving me so, so hard. So he can't hang on, and as I watch that unfold, I remembered an expression that I've heard, maybe from you, I don't Dion know, but you're going to get hit anyways, might as well hold on to the ball. All right, you know a coach <laughs> said that, right? Yeah. Not an actual player. Not a no chance at all. Way easier said than done. On the count, oh, here's what? Camara. Excuse me, what the hell? It looked like he cut that. What the hell? Good delay, I mean, damn it, man. Hey, this is game. I can't believe him lose back to back games. On all pro, not even all man. Oh, God. Oh, and I'm a 92. Oh, God. Oh, damn it, man. From the shotgun, it's Vic. Thank you. Look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off Fly. by Jermon Williams. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Offense.
So they lost yardage and they declined the penalty. That penalty is declined. There's no logical reasoning to do that. I'm trying to go through this little Rolodex in, in this better. small brain of mine, and I'm coming up with nothing, partner. <laughs> I've got zip on that one. Take the yardage, right? Take the penalty. I don't get it. I don't get it either. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. And he goes nowhere. He'll lose yardage back at the 17. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there, and now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Back to throw. He's going to let it fly. And that is going to be... Perryman? Is that Perryman? Wow. It's a big play that time for the Packers. Oh. 57 yards. In a two-minute drill, we often talk about taking care of the football, but sometimes... Pierre Garçon. Oh. How about him going up top on a 50-50 ball and taking it away for a big play? They've gone to the fourth quarter now in Dallas. Now you saw the score at the bottom of your screen a moment ago. We got a good one going on there. Derek Carr, two touchdown passes to lead the way. He'll look to throw. Wide open receiver complete. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10, just shy of the 5 at the 6. Chewing up big yardage, another nice game there. This one goes for 20. And two big plays, one after the other. Now all of a sudden, they're on the march. Got to feel good about what they've just gotten done, and now feel really good about what's in front of them. He's back to throw. Buying time to his left. And, oh, a you got no, no way. way. Oh my god, no. How can you really not rate that half? How can you may not? I am I can't even speak damn English right now. Absolutely monstrous big play right there. Backs to the wall. I can't even fucking speak English. Driving for the winning score, and he says, not on my watch. And that is one happy bunch on the sidelines. And he's gonna be taken down here at about the 10. And now a timeout coming from the defensive side for the Packers. As they stop it with 28 seconds to go in this football game. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Despite the late lead, Vic's going to throw. Complete out right to Jake Buck. And they'll bring him down here right around the 17-yard line. And Alec Packer's going to take another timeout. As they stop it with 22 ticks to go in the fourth. Here's Kamara trying to run for it. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Now here's a whistle and a timeout. It's called by the receiving team here. As the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. And take it right on the 30. Still going. So a change of possession here on the punt. And control of the football, switching hands here with very little time remaining in this contest. Good starting field position as they come up here first and ten. Back to throw. That's gonna go as a loss of two, and it'll be second. All right, second down. loss. Um, well, we so I want to thank everybody for watching today's episode. We do get our second our loss of the season. We are 2-2, two and two, but we will get back on the winning track next game. I promise that EA will not stop me this season. Thank you for watching.